Hey, Frank Paris here. Uh, what you see in front of you is a wine-making machine that a fellow named Tom Urisitz makes. Uh, Tom Urisitz, magic.com, if you're looking for something like this. Why it's out is not, I'm not plugging his stuff, but he does make fantastic stuff. I bought this wine-making machine from him. This is the uh, the steampunk version of it. He makes another version, which is also nice, but I like the steampunk version. And it's a, it's a basically a, a wine making machine. You have a piece of wood and you crank out the, the piece of wood and it comes out and it's not a wand. So you say, well, let's add some paint colors to it. Let's put some black in. I just Velcro these things on here. These come with the, with the wine making machine. And then some white in here. And of course, now you crank it again and it still is not the wand. And you go through a series of seven or eight uh, wands. I think it's seven, but I could be wrong. I haven't done this in a while. Okay, and as you're doing that, you make adjustments to the machine to, to try to make it work. So you make a, a standard white tipped on both sides, black in the middle, magic wand. Now, those are not things that you get when you buy the Tommy Orsitz thing, uh, a wand-making machine. These are things that I've added. For instance, I've added a, an adjustment switch in the back just to make sure I've got the just right so that the wand will come out perfectly and basically that's this little noise maker which is painted black obviously and um, velcroed on the back and then I've got another unit on the back because the wand didn't come out correctly which is a smoke machine now this is one of my smoke machines I haven't sold these on the market uh, but I have a friend who has taken up the gauntlet on these things. I sent him a sample and I said, I gave him permission to make them. I, I, I just don't have time to make these things. I'm too busy with other manufacturing uh, uh, products. And, and basically, this is a smoke machine. And it does give you the billows of smoke. Okay, so when you're working on trying to make a wand, I've got this Velcro on the back. And I say, I think we're overtaxing the machine. Let's give it a break. Let's take a few seconds. All right, so you have that. And then the final thing that I had before the real one came out, the one with the white tips and the black, the black center, was this flash unit, okay? Uh, flash uh, cotton unit. And basically you put uh, flash cotton in here and then you put confetti in here. And when you hit the button, it's got a little on-off switch, but when you hit the button up about that high, shoots out the flash cotton with the confetti and it's a really nice looking report and you can use you know the the, the, the confetti that's got the that floats down or you can use a regular confetti or you can use the the mylar confetti i use the mylar confetti that floats down because it looks pretty okay and so these are made by um a fellow in uh france he was at magic live in vegas in 2022 and he had the, the last one that he had I bought from him for 50 bucks I'm in touch with him now he's got three he's building for me and they were 50 bucks a piece because I've got other props that I want to add a smoke machine to and um, a, a flashing unit like this and what I'm going to show you which is a new product of mine his name is the fellow who makes the flash unit is Bruno M O N. I-A-L, Monel, French, okay, Bruno Monel, and um, he's at ultimatefireproducts.com. Now, when you go to ultimatefireproducts.com, you will not see this listed. He does these on the side. I don't know why he doesn't list them. I guess he doesn't want to make that many, or maybe they're too tedious to make, but it's a beautiful piece of workmanship. It really is. You've got an on-off switch. You've got a button, and... Uh, Again, this was my finale when I finally got the wand out of the machine that really looked like a wand. Uh, before I did that, I, I hit the button on that because the confetti would shoot up with the flash paper and, you know, there'd be a puff of smoke and it looked really nice. But I've added something to it, okay? And again, these are not things that Tom Urisitz provides you with. You do not get a smoke module, you do not get a flash unit, and uh, you do not get this little thing here. I just velcroed a couple of things on the back to stretch out the time on the wand making machine. So, 
And the final item that I'm going to show you is something that I'm starting to manufacture. And I think it's really going to catch on as far as children's shows magicians are concerned. I don't do that many children's shows. I don't do that many shows anymore. Uh, I usually lecture or, uh, you know, I'll just go to a convention or something like that. But this is the unit that I've added to the back. And it's probably the smallest unit you're ever going to see. Okay? And it is a remote control. I'll let you guess. Bubble machine. So the whole unit, the whole bubble machine unit, okay, is right here. Let me just unscrew it. There we go. This is the whole unit right here. I don't know of anybody who's got one this small. So this is something I put together. I've been playing around with it for the last three or four months, and I finally come up with this idea. And basically, you just buy a bottle of bubble stuff and I'm probably gonna send you a bottle anyway when you buy one of these okay and you screw it on you've got a 9 volt battery which pops right off uh, which you should you know take the I didn't put an auto switch on this so you're gonna just have to pull this off just like so and you're not using it I'll put it back on in case you guys want to see the demo again hold on a second oh boy this right here. No, get it. There we go. All right. Oh, nope, not. These are those new clips. Got to go back to the old clips. That's all. Okay. All right. Got to give me trouble, huh? In front of the camera people here. Okay. That's good. That's. Uh, there we go. Sorry about that. So, you've got a 9-volt battery in the back, you've got a receiver, and uh, you've got the mechanism itself. And this is the new, and I, I, I defy you to find something smaller than this, okay? You can put this in a square circle. You can put it into anything that's a production item. I have one, I'm going to put one in my Kyber Cobra snake, the uh, Collector's Workshop Kyber Cobra which I have the basket for, but I like it better in here because it shakes. I've got a mechanism to make it shake and, uh, you know, a smoke machine and that too. So I'm going to add the bubble machine to it. And again, remote control. So you're not anywhere near it. And the bubble shoot up about four feet, four and a half feet. And uh, it's cool. It really is cool. And the price on this is going to be one eighty nine ninety five, and that includes shipping. And uh, they're, custom made to order so when you order one you're not going to get it for a week or two all right and the reason i'm doing that now is because every time i i come out with a new product some people say yeah i want it uh and uh they they don't want to give me a deposit or they want to give me a the, the full amount i'm usually taking full amounts these days you know and i, I got to invest in equipment and, and man hours to make these things so i'm not going to make uh, 10 of them and have them on the shelf. So if you get if you get lucky and you happen to, I happen to have one or two free cancellations or I have one or two that is sitting on the shelf, fine. Okay, but you're going to have to wait a week or so to get one of these if I don't. All right? And again, it's not a very a large amount of money and it, it uh, shoots up these little tiny bubbles uh, and uh, I think it's cool. You can put it, it's, it's a background thing that you would use in your your shows. I mean, they're not going to see the mechanism. You're not going to let them see the mechanism. Or if you want them to see the mechanism, that's fine. But they're going to want to attack it, especially kids. So um, my suggestion is you don't show the mechanism to anybody. You just have it behind your hat, in your hat, in your square circle, whatever. All right. And you can make your own bubbles too. But you'll get a bottle when I when I uh, sell you one. You'll get a bottle of bubble stuff. Okay. And that's basically it. So, again, this is the bubble machine. I don't think you're going to find one any smaller than this. And uh, that's what I'm selling. $189.95, shipping included. And uh, wow. <laughs> that's cool. Frank Paris, over and out. Thanks, guys.